People often ask me why I write. Come up to me and ask me what gives me the precious right to write. I stand there awestruck that somebody would want to ask me that question and I feel like a teacher because I finally get to teach a lesson. But I stand there looking into their face through their eyes, trying not to tell lies about the story behind my lines, trying to conjure up words so profound, so renowned, that it brings the deaf back to sound, the blind back to sight, and the dead back to life. But such profound and renowned words cannot be found. All I can say is I write for those that can't find a reason to live except my poetry so they can read my lines, watch my signs, and find a reason to live. I write for all the little girls all over the world taught to be submissive to the world's definition of a woman. I write so all the single mothers can know it doesn't take a man to raise a man and that the answer to any question your child asks is yes, you can. I write so you can read. I write so the illiterate can learn to enunciate, articulate, and literate through my poetry. I write because I refuse to run. I write because I'm living proof of God's eternal truth. That the promise he is making, the blessing he is giving, he will not be late in delivering. I write so those that legs can walk, those that voices can talk, so the deaf can hear, the blind can see, so those in captivity can be free. So the lost to be found and the silenced have sound. I write so Judas knows he is forgiven. I write so Adam can be resurrected and tell the truth about who ate the apple that was forbidden. And then maybe Lucifer can tell me how something forbidden even made it into the Garden of Eden. I write because some days I have more questions than answers and most days I have more answers than questions. And so I write. I write because sometimes the weight of the world it feels so heavy on my shoulders I can feel it in my teeth, I feel it in my lungs as I struggle to breathe. I write so politicians can stop politicking and start delivering on what they've been promising. I write because I can't read, I write because I don't want to bleed, I write because I can't cry, I write for all the kids with daddy issues. Then I write for all the daddies with issues. I write so the rich know there's no benefit to being rich if you never learn to give. And I'm not talking about philanthropy or charity, I'm just saying stop stealing money from poverty. I write so anyone who reads knows that the real and true revolution that will change this world as we know it will not come from your wars, guns, knives or missiles, but will come through poets like me, readers like you, and people who want to change the world one line, one family, one girl child at a time, and so I write. I write until I don't know the difference between reality and fiction, past or present. I write because most times it's all I can do. The only place where everything makes sense. Nothing is wrong, the black is beautiful, woman is wonderful. Where life is blissful and death is peaceful. Where love lasts forever, joy is our religion, peace our philosophy. Love thy neighbor like you love yourself is our political policy. And hate is the only thing we bury six feet under. But mostly I write because if I ever live long enough to change the world, it will be one lion, one family, one girl, child, one son of man, one master plan, one heartbeat, one lung breathe, one blood bleed, one slit wrist, one comatose overdose, one step, one word, one phrase, one close, one pause. One rand, one piece of land, one meal, one dream, one book, one hope, one subject, one course. One teacher, one preacher, one pastor, one child molester. One school, one department, one region, one section, one block, one province, one state, one county, one country, one continent. One hemisphere, one globe, one planet, one universe, one galaxy at a time. But momentously, most monumentally imperative is the fact that I write. Because if I ever live long enough to change the world, it will be all of that stuff combined into one life at a time. And until that day, I write. <laughs>